We're all good. All right, here we go, here we go. Hello, Aries. Rambling Mike here, gonna play a little bit of tarot with ya. Thanks for tuning in. One more time, Aries. Thanks for hitting that old subscription button, that like button while you're thinking about it. Very kind of you. I always want to take a minute of gratitude and thank my many, many Aries friends that have blessed me. Thank you, Emperor. I appreciate them all, large or small. If you've ever blessed me, Aries, thank you so very, very much. Uh, we, we're, playing, uh, we're playing tarot. Of course, I'm going to be looking for love. These are relationships, friends. So you can talk about home, work, family, the neighbors, the kids. I, 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 I always want to focus on the love story myself. I'm going to be playing with the Tarot Illuminati. Freestyling with that. I'm going to play with uh, uh, the Gilded as well. I got, I, I got some love cards. I think I'm going to wait on them for a minute and see what the Tarot talks about. A couple major arcanas to top off your spread here, Aries. I do wanna I do wanna let you know that I got a I got a giveaway. I got a FaceTime with old Ramblin' Mike giveaway for the month of January. I'll be pulling I'll be pulling those cards or I'll be pulling the winner on January 31st. Uh, which is a Tuesday night, which is fire babies. So the only thing you gotta do to enter, you know, is give me a comment. Just give me a smiley face. Give me a hi Mike. All that being said. Let's play some tarot, Aries. Aries, Aries, Aries. January 2024. Give me a card. Give me a card. Let's cut it. Let's cut it. What's the tarot talking about? Aries, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Looking for love. Hey, wands. Somebody, somebody's telephone is ringing. Somebody's going to be ringing your phone. Somebody's going to be ringing your phone. They're going to be excited about it too, you know. This is a positive energy card. It's eight wands. It's eight wands. Get ready, Aries. It's a lot of fire on that. A lot of passion on that right there. Let's go. Let's go. Let's see if Aries wants to pick up the phone. You know, I'm all about letting 23, 23 stay in 23. Anyway, telephone is ringing. Give me a card right here, Aries. Oh, who's that? Oh, Aries. Why two pinnacles come out when the telephone's ringing and Mike's be like, what do we want to see? We want to pick up the phone. The old juggler just showed up around here. Maybe, you know, I do call this the dance of change. Maybe they're trying to change their ways. It does have an infinity symbol, so there's... Some kind of connection here, huh? Oh, Lordy. Oh, Lordy. Aries. Aries. Two of Pentacles ringing the phone. Two of Pentacles ringing the phone. Give me some on this. <laughs> Aries. Aries. Aries, babies. What's going on? January 2024. Oh, damn. Oh, what, what is going on with your little juggler over here? Ace of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, they, they insisted on coming out. I saw the Ace of Pentacles. I wanted, you know, damn it, is the juggler, is, is the juggler doing a change? Oh, Lordy. They're awful excited about talking with you. And, you know, that's the Ace of the Ten of Pins that insisted on showing up in your spread around here. Hopefully they want more than just your money. Let's go, <laughs> let's go, Aries. Aries, Aries. Aries, show me this love story right here. Got an old two pinnacle right there. Got an old two pinnacle. They're excited too, boy. Huh? Hopefully they let go of that other pinnacle. Give me a card right here. Aries, the lovers. Oh, Lordy. Oh, Lordy. Oh, I got a juggler. And I got three people in this doggone card right here. You know, that's about a choice. This, I told you it's a strong soulmate right here. I wonder how committed they're going to be with that Ace of Ten of Pentacles. Showed up with the lovers, and that talks about making a choice. Definitely a strong soulmate connection right here. I've seen an infinity symbol on the juggler, and of course, the lovers card, which has got three people in it right here. I'm just saying, what is going on with your little juggler? 
They may have some earth in their chart, huh? Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, a lot, of, a lot of coins. That's a page of coins. That's about somebody has been thinking about, thinking about talking with you for a while. Hey, Aries, maybe we can come out of these challenging times. I wish they showed up a little stronger than a page energy right there. Aries, Aries. Happy New Year, Aries. Here we go, here we go. Could be. Oh my goodness, man. They are swooning over you. <laughs> Ten of cops. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, I hope Aries takes my offer. Oh, I can have ten cups and ten pinnacles. And and maybe my other friend too. That's still on the board right here. Oh, damn it. What am I oh Aries, there's Aries. What are you talking about, Willis? What you talking about, Willis? <laughs> oh, oh, you're looking like 2023 to me. <laughs> oh, damn it. Yeah, now, the Wounded Warriors still got that Ace of Wands in their hand right there, Aries. Oh, Lordy. Oh, Lordy. Aries is ahead of the game right here. What you talking about, Willis? What you talking about? <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. This is, this is an axe, if you ask me. Or somebody that you know, right? Uh, three swords right there. It'd be like, oh, damn. No, what you talking about? Well, I, I don't know if I want to go down that road again. See, too many. There's, there's, there's these threes just keep showing up around here. Oh, there's a strong soulmate connection. Oh, be careful. Be careful. What's this about, Aries? Oh, Lordy. Well, maybe we can make it work out. Oh, Lordy. Maybe, maybe we can. Maybe we can heal it all. Maybe maybe we can look past all these damn swords that are in the way around here. All right, who wants me to shake them out? I'm going to shake them out here and give these lovers a, a hope. And it, Here we go. Out, out, out. Get out of here. Out of Aries' spread. Out of Aries' heart. Now, oh, Lord have mercy. <laughs> I mean, I see a fire pony right there, man. Now, we all love the fire pony. They're good looking, exciting, charismatic, fun to be with. But Aries, you, you probably know, Wounded Warrior, that, you know, they ain't got no roots. You know, the old fire pony, they, they like to come over to your house and dig through your refrigerator and make a sandwich, you know. And then as soon as they finish that sandwich, they may be off digging through somebody else's refrigerator. That's what I'm looking at right here, Aries. Oh, there's a face card right there. What is this, man? It's a queen of swords. That's somebody cold and detached on the outside. Can be ooey gooey soft and true. Great with communication skills. Oh, I wish they showed up as a different queen, male or female. It's that old detached one. Oh no, oh no, Aries. Oh, it's so cold out here, Aries. It's so cold. Oh, that's five pins. Oh, Aries, you left him out. You left him out in the cold. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, well. Okay. Hey, I want to play with another tarot deck. Because it seems, it looks to me like you may give it a, another whirl. Although, I, I, before I get another tarot deck out, Aries, that's a world card right there. That is a card about an old cycle ending in a new cycle beginning. Oh, damn, there's that Ace of Swords right there, damn it. Ace of Swords don't play. You yeah, know, it's about enlightenment, awakening, greater understandings, and it definitely can drop and cut chains. <laughs> okay. Woo! Let's see, let's see. Let's see what's going on around here. Yeah, there's a lot of sandwiches. This, this person. Hungry and thirsty. Hungry and thirsty. It kind of looks to me like, you know, they, they got something going on they may not want you to know about. But they miss you, you little soulmate right there. Oh, looks like you already done the work right here. Give me a card right here. Let's see what they're really thinking and feeling. See what they're really thinking and feeling. Here we are. 
10 cups again. This is a dreamer right here. Damn it, this is like a hopeless romantic or something. Damn, they got a dream. They got 20 cups. <laughs> it's a different tag showing the same car. Hi, Aries. Oh, look at this peacock over here and the Queen of Swords. A lot of pride, a lot of ego. Huh? Been thinking about this for a minute. I got a plan, Stan. Again, man, Page of Pentacles of Ten Cups. You know, the page don't bring a whole hell of a lot. I'm just saying. Well, they're bringing Queen of Swords energy. Oh, <laughs> doggone it, man. Well, get ready. Get ready. Two, two different decks of the same cards. Page of Pentacles with a dream, with a vision. Yeah. I think we might be getting down to the core of the situation right here. When I be asking what they be thinking and what they be feeling, two swords. Again, this shows me that there's a hidden. There's there's something hidden over here. There's something hidden over here. They may come in with the plan, Stan, but that two swords says that uh, they really ain't made their mind up yet. What are they thinking, feeling about Aries? Oh, King of Swords. Oh, they, see, these two already been in separation. That's how I read these two. They get each other. They understand each other. They definitely do. They definitely been in separation. That's because somebody's been in this energy right here for a while. I think it's your little peacock friend right here. And Aries just said, yeah, enough's enough. Enough's enough. See, that's a wall right there. There's a lot of passion though, Aries, huh? A lot of passion for this individual right here. Well, the cards I'm getting now, you know, you may just end up being stuck like Hangman. They may bring you back into Hangman. Looks like you're breaking free to me. Looks like you're breaking free to me, Aries. Let's see what's going on with Aries. What are they thinking and feeling about their love life, their journey right here? Looks to me like 2023 wants to come play again. Get you back in Hangman's tree, hanging around. They can go do what they want and all that. Let's go. Aries. Oh, hey. Oh, oh death. Death. Oh, transformation with Aries. Oh, death and rebirth. Death. Oh, I, I don't think you're going to play with them. Uh-uh, not with a death car. I'd be asking what's going on with Aries. What are they thinking and feeling these days? Aries knows his story right here, you know, probably a soulmate, but the one that, you know, you just play with for a season. Oh, look at you right there, man. Knight of Swords, huh? <laughs> this is, this is, <laughs> come on, come on, Swords, bring that, bring that transformation in. I like you up there flying around like a golden eagle. This is the Knight of Swords. That's fast movement. Probably, hopefully, uh, away. <laughs> hey, we got things to go. We got, yeah, look at 10 pins. I'm telling off on somebody around here. Oh, we're not playing with that heavy burden. No, we're not playing with nothing heavy no more. We're going to go, we're going to go and be the dragon slayer. We're gonna, we might go see what's going on out there. You might go see if you can find, oh, what's this? Love. Venus just showed up. Oh. <laughs> um, that's Taurus Libra. I mean something to you around here. Yeah, I see you. Uh, I don't know. I didn't see anybody else show up in your spread. But I see you to be like, uh, yeah, we already done this, you know. We already done this. Um, I see what you want right here. Can I show you? That's the Knight of Pentacles. So some of you may be working on your finances at this particular point in time. Uh, this, is, this is a great card of money getting better. It's a great card of uh, you. Uh, you know, this came out after the Empress, you know. You moving to go find that Empress energy. You making a wish, Knight of Cups, um, about a new beginning. But look who's here in my hand. The Emperor. The Emperor and the Empress are right here. It's not this. But you know that with death. See, that's death and transformation. There's forward movement. Uh, this could be the Dragon Slayer. Maybe you're going to go in there and lay this thing to rest. 
right? Uh, that card speaks their truth. And then uh, death, after the lightning pony, came uh, another pony journey, one step at a time. Empress, Nine of Cups, Aries being happy, a new beginning, and an emperor. Well, Happy New Year to you. Don't get fooled again. I don't even think I want to pull any love cards on this. Because the, 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 the happy part of this story was what's coming in in the near future for many of my Aries writers that aren't fooled again. Give me a major on this for Aries, please. Aries, 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 <laughs> the devil. Looks like mayhem to me. Looks like mayhem. I call the devil breaking chains that bind. What else we got going on around here? Aries, Aries, Aries. Oh, forward movement. That is a chariot. Look at being led and guided by the divine. New adventures, new days, new people, new friends, new world, new Aries, new you, man. Love it for you, Aries. I thank you if you made it to this part in the reading. Thanks for your review. I appreciate that so very much. If you're new around here, hopefully I've earned your subscription as one of your tarot readers. If I have, smash that subscription button for me, huh? Ring my bell over there. Hit that I like mic button if you would. And uh, stick around if you'd like. I got some videos up here you might uh, want to take a look at and all that kind of fun stuff. And don't forget, leave me a comment if you want to get in on the free giveaway. I'll ram a mic on a FaceTime with somebody. Love you, Aries. Talk with you soon. Namaste. Bye for now. Well, 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 well.